Yeah, I know the fly high is cool and smooth as y'all niggas doing this shit, bro. Yeah. Same yeah. look, nigga, big pistol yeah. in the field, blow like a whip. What's happening with the gang? Y'all tuning in with Hunt Your Faith, and we back with another motherfucking video, you dig? Hey, man, so look, y'all been waiting on this one, and as you can see by the title, bro, right there, yeah, as y'all can see by the title, we watching the war in the Bronx, OG versus YG's versus Sev side, and shout out to my boy Hip Hop Daily, this is his video, all of this shit, um, I actually have checked out Hip Hop Daily before, but on some other shit, I ain't never watched this video, you feel me? But shout out to him, because he do be having the news, bro. But we all finna tune into this one. I know y'all been waiting for it. I've been waiting for it. I'm ready to get into it. That way I can figure what the fuck I need to figure out, bro. Because I'm listening to all this music, and I don't know the difference between none of them. You feel me? I just know they beefing. So <laughs> that's what this video is for. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We gonna get right into the video. This is the war in the Bronx, bro. Let's see what he talking about, man. Is a wild place. It's the borough with the most crime and is well known for gang activity. The Bronx drill sound is on the rise and is fueling the deadly war between three gangs the OGs, the YGs, and Sevside. Let's get straight into this crazy beat. Brooklyn was getting attention for its drill scene, but the Bronx is coming with a whole new sound that's starting to make waves. K Flock. Oh, shit, is everybody in here, bruh? So we got my boy K Flock. I done just seen my boy Lee Drilly right here. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, we, we watching this one, y'all. My boy Lee Drilly. Okay. And then they had B-Fang up here. All right. All right. Whole new sound that's starting to make waves. K Flock is one of the hottest rappers from the Bronx right now, racking up millions of plays on songs like Being Honest and PSA. Bronx Drill may have the same bass lines and hard. I ain't heard them two songs, so I got to check them out for y'all. I'm going to have to react to those two. I'm going to have to react to those two. Remember that. Flow is Brooklyn and UK drill, but it has its own unique sound that's influenced by classic New York hip hop. Most of the beats have classic samples laced in with distorted 808s that gives the music a different vibe than drill from other areas. K Flock has been riding away with his new sound and has been building a buzz over the past few months. But his come up ain't just been all success. He also suffers from the pain and loss that comes with the street life, losing many friends to gun violence. K Flock hopped off the curb at a young age and was on the block at like 12 years old. He started rapping because of his homie Dougie B, who's also a rapper and has been featured on multiple tracks. K Flock's first official track was a remix of the 22G song, Licky Gang Freestyle, which he titled FTO. 22G's then gave K Flock a shout out in a recent interview, showing love to the Bronx drill movement. In August 2021, he remixed Siggy Black's song. So that's another uh, song I gotta check out because I ain't heard that either by K Flock. And uh oh, they talking about Siggy Black? I checked out Siggy Black. Y'all can go see that on my channel too. I fucks with Siggy Black. Let me take that back though. See what he's gonna say. 22G's then gave K Flock a shout out in a recent interview, showing love to the Bronx drill movement. In August 2021, he remixed Siggy Black's song, Dishonest, and called it Being Honest. That track quickly racked up millions of views and earned him a feature from G Herbo. There's also rumors that he recently signed a seven figure deal and he's in a good position to take over the Bronx rap scene. But behind all of K Flock's success is a deadly war that involves his own family members. He's from a blood set around East 187th Street in a hood known as Sev Side. Sev Side is made up of Mac Baller Brims and Sex Money Murder, and they cool with the Rolling 80s Crips. Sev Side. Oh, okay. Okay. Now I get it. Now I get it. So K Flock from Sev Side. I'm um, see, look, from the OGs and the YG stuff, since that's all I really understood. I'm thinking he from one of them, but he from Sev side, them bloods. Okay. And they said they fuck with the rolling 80s Crips. Okay. Okay. Side beats with other gangs in the area, including the OGs or original goons and the YGs or young gunners. Oh, At first. Okay. So they stuff stand for original goons or what he say? Hold on. Hold on. Take that back. Side beats with other gangs in the area, including the OGs or original goons and the YGs or young gunners. Okay, so original goons and young gunners. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Hey, look, I'm getting put on now, y'all. I'm getting put on. I'm excited. I'm excited, bro. At first, these two was the same gang and controlled a few different projects around Cortland Ave, not far from Sev's side. But one of the founders of the YGs crossed over another top member, so the dudes in his hood split off to form the OGs. 
Today, the YGs are one of the most hated gangs in the Bronx, and they beef with almost everyone. One of the YG's main rappers, named D-Thang, is K-Flock's blood cousin. The two rappers have been dissing each other back and forth. D-Thang shocked the whole hood by dropping a Chicago-style drill track called Talking Facts, where he disrespects dead ops from damn near every gang the YG's beef with. Now see, I done reacted to that song, bro. Y'all can also go check that out on my channel, bro. Um, did I react to that? I think I did. I think I did, y'all. Cause I, it's a couple D thing things in my computer I might be getting confused with. So I might have just told y'all some information that I wasn't supposed to say. Uh oh, she's <laughs> looking ass. But yeah, man. Uh, I heard this one though. I'm gonna just say that I've heard this one. And uh, yeah, he was, he was uh, I see at the time though I didn't know who he was aiming at. I I knew. You know what I'm saying? Y'all commented and told me that uh, D thing beef with Pay Flock. And so I think, okay, boom. But all them other people in there, I did not know. And come to find out now, he, he and one of the most hated gangs by everybody. I did not know this. Did not know this, bro. But the beef ain't start with rap. It began with multiple murders, followed by threats in music and on social media. In July 2021, a 19-year-old rapper who went by the name Ty Swish was shot in the head in the lobby of his apartment building. He ran outside after getting shot, but had been hit in the eye and quickly collapsed. A family friend and her two kids found him unconscious outside the building. He was rushed to the hospital, but he was dead at the scene. Witnesses say the gunman fled in a dark-colored four-door sedan, but was never identified. Friends and neighbors said Ty Swish was a good kid who never got in trouble, but he was allegedly from Sex Money Murder, and they would quickly even the score for his death. A few days later, 13-year-old Jerry and Elliot was chased down and killed outside the Angels Cafe in the Belmont neighborhood of the Bronx. So, okay. Okay. So, this this type of beef is like real life shit out there in New York. Like, they really, because y'all know I speak on the whole Naughty Osama situation. I'm like, damn, he was so young. You feel me? He was 14. This dude right here, it was 13 years old and they killed him. Jerry and just graduated from junior high and was turning 14 later that month. But even though he was young, he already claimed to be from the rolling 80s Crips. He had already got arrested eight times for robbery and assault and spent time in juvie. A friend of Jerry's said the Crips put him on when he was 10 years old and that she tried to warn him about the lifestyle, but he ain't listened. The murder was captured on surveillance footage and showed Jerry and walking down the street with a friend. A black sedan is seen driving up alongside him, then coming to a stop. A mass shooter then hops out and shoots at both of them. His friend ran away, but Jerry and falls and then crawls into a local cafe. He got shot in the legs and the chest and was rushed to the hospital, but later pronounced dead. The least thing Jerry's death was payback for killing Ty Swish. They don't know if he was a killer, but they believe he was there at the time of the murder. Just a few hours after Jerry and got chips, the ops got their revenge and a 16 year old got killed and police think it was a payback hit. On Sunday, July 11th, a 16 year old rapper named Rod G's was shot while getting into an Uber. Rod G's was from the 800 YG's and the shooting is believed to be retaliation for the murder of Jerry and Elliot. Damn. So you mean to tell me, you mean to tell me these niggas having a real life battle? Y'all got that, right? Y'all got that. He said that was a, what, a, a few hours after they had killed this dude right here? Hold on, let me take, I gotta take this back. I gotta take this back a little bit. Went to a stop. A mass shooter then hops out and shoots at both of them. His friend ran away, but Jerry and falls and then crawls into a local cafe. He got shot in the legs and the chest and was rushed to the hospital, but later pronounced dead. Police think Jerry's death was payback for killing Ty Swish. They don't know if he was a killer, but they believe he was there at the time of the murder. Just a few hours after Jerry got chips, the ops got their revenge and a 16 year old got killed and police think it was a payback hit. On Sunday, July 11th, a 16 year old rapper named Rod G's was shot while getting into an Uber. Rod G's was from the 800 YG's and the shooting is believed to be retaliation for the murder of Jerry and Elliot. Rod Damn, so a few hours later they capped Rod G's after they capped this 13 year old. Yeah. Jeez. So Ty Swish, then this 13 year old right here, then Rod G's. Damn, these niggas is going at it. I look, I did not know all this info. And, and they said Rod G's is a rapper. Well, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 
y'all let me know in the comments you know what i'm saying comment a song or something so i can check them out bro all right this is crazy shit Rod G supposedly made fun of Jerrion's death on social media right after it happened, and the get back was immediate. He was on his way to the studio when two men on scooters pulled up and started dumping shots into his Uber. The whole thing was captured on the driver's dash cam and quickly went viral on social media. The rapper got shot once before, but survived. His mom said he was trying to turn his life around and was focusing on his music career, but he didn't get that chance and instead became another casualty in this deadly war. But the case is still active and they both minors, so there ain't too much public info available. With so many deaths on all sides, the beef between the YGs, OGs, and Sev side was really heating up. On August 16th, K Flock dropped the track, Is You Ready?, where he disses multiple rival rappers, including his own cousin, D Thang. In the first verse, he says, Boy, ask my ops, it could get ugly. I could do shh, like Ice did Sunny. This is referring to the classic film, Paid in Full. In the movie, Mitch, one of the main characters played by Makai Pfeiffer, has a younger brother who gets kidnapped for ransom. Mitch tries to get the money, but he gets killed by Rico, played by Cameron, who steals the drugs to pay Sonny's ransom. Sonny gets killed as a result, and come to find out, he was set up by his own uncle, Ice, who was mad at Mitch for kicking him out of the house. So in this bar, K Flock sends a shot directly to his own cousin, D Thang, and lets him know he's not above setting him up. The song was big in New York and even got played on Hot 97. So, I actually did a reaction to Is You Ready? Y'all can go check that out on my channel. I did not know he was talking about his cousin like that. I did not know that. God damn. These look deep. Damn. Not even a family. Look. He not even fucking with his family because of this shit, bro. This shit get deep. This shit gets fucking deep. You can probably guess how the ops felt about this. D Thang quickly hopped on social media and gave his thoughts on the bar, saying, Can't wait to see Auntie now. A few weeks later, another Rolling 80s member who was affiliated with K Flock got murdered broad day. The victim was 16 year old rapper Nas Rolla. He was killed after two men hopped out of a Honda Accord and popped him in the head and chest in Seb Side's hood. Police said that Nas Rolla had a long criminal history and got arrested 18 times already, including 10 felonies dating back to May 2017. He was recently arrested for gun possession and was fighting three other open gun cases. After his death, D Thing would hop on Instagram and sneak this Nas Rolla, who was his cousin K Flock's right hand man, suggesting he might have got set up. Right around the same time Nas Rolla was killed, D Thing dropped Talk Facts, which is pretty much the Bronx version of Who I Smoke, where he disses all his ops, both alive and dead. On the track, he samples the song Somebody That I Used to Know by Got Ye and throws a sub at a different op in almost every bar. Some disses include Dougie got shot, but he's still in recovery, sending shots at K-Flock's homie, Dougie B. He also says, come on, CJ, you see me when I ain't see you. F you ain't even make a move. So how the f when you see me, you gonna shoot? In this bar, he takes shots at another rival rapper from Cortland who dissed d thing on the track Kidnap Who after d thing said he was gonna kidnap Booba Savage, who was also featured on the track. Later, he raps, Jiggy Man, aka Shot Eck, dumbass got hit. That's word on my mother, they never do shit. Here, he's talking about a rapper named Sha X. Look, I am gonna react to Sha X. Uh, I thought it was Sha EK, though. Shit, I thought it was, yeah, that's what I was gonna call him, but I guess Sha X it is. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna react to him too because um, I got a few comments that, that wanted to see that as well. So I'm gonna react to that. But this shit right here is crazy, bro. This shit right here. Now I know, now I know though. How I know what's going on though. Who's from the OGs and known to go by the name Jiggy Man. So, it looks like Bronx Drill is following the same pattern as Chicago and the UK. Rappers diss each other in songs and follow it up with real violence. What's really crazy is that a lot of them are under 18 and still in high school. So really, they don't fully understand the consequences that come with the lifestyle they live in. Hopefully, they're paying attention to how hot it's getting in O Block and they cool it down before it's too late. But with so many lives lost on both sides, it's hard to see an end in sight. some pressure because i look now i'm informed though now i'm informed because i did not know 
I didn't even know it was the third side, bro. I thought it was just the OGs and the YGs. I didn't even know all of that shit was going on. You feel me? I did not know. So, therefore, this shit right here is crazy to me. But now I know. Now I understand what y'all be talking about now. Like, this this beef is deep. Like, damn. St just in this video right here. And, obviously, he didn't name every person that has passed away from this shit. But, just in this video right here, what he said. Damn. How many people did he even miss off? What was that? Three the first time? Like. Them. Niggas be beefing out there in New York, like straight up, and they not playing. A few hours after they killed the thirteen year old, bro, they pulled up on somebody else. Raw G's, my nigga, and smoked him. Man, this shit is fucking crazy, bro. Uh, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Plenty more videos coming. You feel me? You already know the deal. And that's just the way it is, man. I'm not just saying, bro. Yeah, I know on the fly high is coolest mood y'all niggas doing this shit, y'all. Yeah. Same look, nigga, big pistol in the field, blow like a whip.